Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for altered perfusion as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the major circulatory system complications. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, a client has a blood pressure of 142 over 96. The client is being treated with antihypertensive medications. The cause of the client's hypertension is related to a known kidney problem. Which of the following is true? And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is B, the client likely has secondary hypertension. Secondary hypertension, or secondary high blood pressure, is high blood pressure that is caused by another medical condition, such as a known kidney or adrenal condition. Moving on to question number two. Abrupt onset of hemiparesis is most likely caused by... The answer here is B, stroke. One of the manifestations of a stroke is the abrupt onset of hemiparesis, which is the weakness or complete paralysis of one side of the body. Question number three, which of the following terms is used to describe the fatty material that forms in the arteries? The answer is A, atheroma. Atheroma is the term used to describe the fatty material or the plaque that forms in the arteries. Atherosclerosis is the disease describing the thickening or hardening of the arteries, which is caused by atheroma. Question number four, circulatory system failure and inadequate perfusion to vital organs is known as? The answer is D, shock. This is the correct definition for shock. There are five major different types of shock, all of which result in inadequate perfusion to vital organs. Question number five, along with other symptoms, a client presents with distended neck veins, edema in the legs and feet, and ascites. Which of the following disease processes will the nurse most suspect? This one is D, right-sided heart failure. These are all signs of right-sided heart failure. Left-sided heart failure typically causes more effects in the lungs, leading to worsening shortness of breath, increased coughing, and more. Try to remember L for left and lungs, and R for right and the rest of the body. It doesn't fit exactly, but it always helps me remember. Question number six, cyanosis is a late sign of hypoxia. The answer here is A, true. Early signs of hypoxia are anxiety, confusion, restlessness, tachycardia, dyspnea, and more. Cyanosis, the bluish discoloration of skin and mucous membranes, is a late sign of hypoxia and should not be relied upon to determine adequate oxygenation or perfusion. If the nurse relies on observing cyanosis prior to treatment, it may be too late to provide adequate treatment. Question number seven, a patient with hypertension is at a greater risk of developing a localized dilation or outpouching of a vessel wall, known as a or an... This one is an aneurysm. Hypertension and atherosclerosis increases the risk for developing aneurysms, which are the localized dilation or outpouching of a vessel wall. Aneurysms can be at risk of rupturing, leading to hemorrhage and possibly death. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, which of the following statements suggests that the 46-year-old female patient requires further teaching? The answer here is C, men and women typically experience the same symptoms for heart attacks. This suggests that the patient needs further teaching. Myocardial infarctions may present as many different symptoms, including chest pain or discomfort, pain in the left shoulder, jaw, or neck, difficulty breathing, etc. However, women may report other symptoms including lightheadedness, unusual fatigue, indigestion and heartburn, and more. And that's it for our Altered Perfusion quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.